at the uh, Sunday Soul Day. It's uh, it's pretty decent outside, not crazy nice. Um, but in lack of uh, sports on TV, what I wanted to do today on this Sunday Soul Day was I wanted to do something I think would be interesting. We are going to have a tournament style single elimination bracket with our saw mill, the blades. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to match up. Uh, I have four types of blades. I have the new turbo double hard 747s from Woodmiser. I have new uh, seven degree rippers from Jerry's, um, 10 degrees. And then we have um, a resharp resharpened blade from Woodmiser, and then we also have um, a homemade blade that we resharpened. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this white oak here cut into a cant. Our goal here today is to get 8 inch wide boards. So we're going to get that in the cant, we're going to set the cameras up, and we're going to try to do a side by side comparison to see which blade gets through this log the fastest. And then we'll, we'll eliminate each one and come up with the true champion. So. The big virus going around is not going to stop us from having a little bit of fun today and hopefully get some entertainment for you guys to see which blade is, is the best. And I'm, I'm tickled to see too myself because I really don't know. Um, and, and another key is this is self-driven. However, once I start to log, I'll set the speed the same on all of them. Um, each cut will be a brand new blade. I'll make one cut, change the new blade, make a cut, continue on, etc., etc. So, I say, let's get this baby skinned down to a camp, and let's rock and roll. Come on. All right, before we get started, let's do this bracket here. We'll call it the Cairn Creek March Madness Shootout. I don't know why, but that just seems fitting. So let's do our brackets. Okay, so I think first we'll go with the, the seven degree uh, the Ripper 37s from Jerry's against the Woodmiser 7 degree resharp blade. Woodmiser resharpened that one they sent back to me. And down here we'll go with the 10 degree Jerry's Ripper 37. And we put that against the new highly touted 747 double hard. And then out here my father-in-law, Papa Rick, aka Tricky Rick, resharpened, uh, I believe, it was a seven-degree blade with his Dremel tool. So we're going to give uh, Papa Rick the benefit of the doubt. We're going to bump him straight up to the finals. Uh, so we'll narrow it down to see who has the best time here, and we'll head to head them with Papa Rick's Dremel sharpened blade. All right, here we go. Come on. Down goes the resharp. Jerry, seven degree, moves on.
And down goes Frazier. Frazier goes down. The heavyweight champion is down and out. The 747 did not make it. So the ripper from Jerry's, the 10 degree. So we actually have Jerry's 7 degrees and Jerry's 10 degree ripper in the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Jerry Seven Degree is our champion at the time. Looks like he had a time of about 47.32, easily beating a 10 degree from Jerry's on this piece of white oak. Oh my goodness. So now we just have to uh, see what Tricky Rick's Resharp's got going on. Ball Ricks resharp with the Dremel tool takes the win, ladies and gentlemen. The Cairn Creek March Madness shootout has the final being Papaw Ricks resharp. Oh my goodness! More to come. Come on. All right, so we got through those two by eights, and I wanted to bring you guys in and get you a little closer view of the cuts. So let's look here at the uh, the cuts. Let's start here. We got the seven degree uh, resharpened blade from Woodmiser. It looks pretty good. I noticed on this Jerry 10 degree blade, we had a lot of chatter. Um, you know, each blade I had to readjust the tension. So I'm not sure why we got so much chatter on that one. Uh, the seven degree looks good. Here's the new Woodmiser. I do know the Woodmiser 747 was the sharpest points when I was uh, changing the blades. I could tell definitely it was. It's pretty sharp. And then here we have Papaw Rick's resharpened blade with, uh, I think he used a Dremel tool. He's just trying to see how he could do one. And the crowd goes wild. So the good news is, Papaw Rick, technically he's the champion with his resharpened blade. And 
at least we can have a beer together to celebrate the success that he had with this blade sharpening. It would have been a different story if one of the uh, Woodmeister blades would have stepped up and won. Because I don't think I could get with Daryl Floyd to have a beer with him. However, he's only three hours away. Who knows? But guys, I don't, I don't know. It, we took a mundane task and hopefully had a little bit of fun with it. I know not everybody's into the saw blades. Uh, the sawmill, I guess I should say. But it was cool just to, to one, get something done with the that white oak. Uh, for the neighbor to have some usable lumber out of a tree he had. Uh, two, we had fun doing it. Got some video, video action. Had a little March Madness bracket. Uh, I actually myself learned some stuff. I know that was only one cut, um, but it was neat to see how the different blades operated. And I do want to stress that that is a self, it's got a knob. I turn that knob and that's the speed of travel. So there's different resistances as it goes through the log, but we had one log, one fresh blade each cut, and I did not touch the knob throughout all the blade changes, nothing. So take it for what you want. It's, uh, the blades are the blades. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, once again, thanks for watching this thing. I know the things are going crazy right now in the world. And uh, uh, hopefully just that little video of what we was doing to, to make fun of a, a, an ordinary day uh, gave you some entertainment today. And once again, uh, our page here is Karen Creek. We have a 140 acre farm, uh, always doing good, different things, having fun. The sawmill gets operated about once every week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, the weather's starting to break. It's really green up outside. So we're really tickled to be able to get outside soon and start doing some, some more stuff. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and like and share, your, uh, share this video with your friends. I know this will be a hot topic in the sawmill world. Just everybody wanting to see the different blades in action. And the last one we had there about the wood miser sucks. It definitely had some traction going to it. And um, yeah, good stuff, guys. Next time.